Hello again and welcome to week two of music at home, lockdown learning, uh, musical lockdown learning. Um, I'm Nicola Thompson, Somerset Music and welcome along again. It's lovely to see you. Hope you've all had a good week, uh, whether you're learning at home or whether you're learning still in the classroom. And of course, you might be accessing this music in the classroom as well. Uh, we're going to get started straight away today. Uh, all you're going to need just to have to pick up is, if you're in school, hopefully you've got either some drumsticks or some clays that you can tap together. Um, if not, pencils, they'll work just as well because we're going to do a bit of rhythm copy back in our warm up. Um, if you're at home, I always say this, don't I? Run to the utensils, check with your parents though, first of all, or your carers, uh, that what you pick is safe. But wooden spoons, any wooden implements or anything that you do the cooking with, you can tap together and again pencils, chopsticks and if you've got some sticks around, fantastic. So grab them, we're going to warm up and then we'll be ready for our music. Are you ready? I don't think it's coming through okay for you. last week we didn't really warm up our bodies and it still is important I, you maybe thought you joined joe wicks for a minute um but it's really important in music to warm up your bodies as well just to get you ready okay terrible isn't it made me out of breath um grab your sticks we're going to just do a bit of rhythm copy back okay because rhythm's an important part of our home learning this time round, so we're just going to do a little bit of warm up copy back some phrases Thank you. 
are quite regular, right on the beat. We're going to try some pop beat rhythms now, okay? So we can just take it up a step. Listen, copy back. we use just one uh, action for one beat and we're going to try and do a little bit of what we did in the rhythm work where we put two beats to two sounds to one beat okay so for example uh, one of them maybe one two and three and four okay and we're going to start with four beats. one two and three and four okay one two and three and four one two and three and four one two and three and four. Can you try and do that with me? So it's a clap, click, click, chest, chest, clap, clap, click, click, chest, chest, clap. Should we try it? One, two, three and four.
it's your turn to have a go doing your own four beat phrase remember you really have to concentrate you will notice i really had to concentrate constant can say concentrate still and um and i went a little bit wrong sometimes as well i'm sorry uh, so have a go at doing your own four beat phrase okay here's the music i'll give you a count in and then off you go go back to our drumsticks, chopsticks, wooden spoons, pencils, whatever you're tapping together. Um, I'm going to teach you a phrase. So last week we did Hall of the Mountain King and we noticed the tempo got faster. This time the drum patterns are going to get a little bit more complicated to, to challenge you but there's ways that we, that we can do it and if any of you do um, drumming as part of your WCET, Samba, Djembe or learning to play the drum kit, um, words often help us remember rhythms it's a really good way of learning it so not just reading the notation but having words that go in, into our heads that help us to every time we drum a pattern we're saying it in our heads so all i want you to do is say after me um i was just about to say the rhythm i've been using at school but it's not going to work here because the rhythm was when will it be home time please be soon but maybe today because of the time i'm doing this we might say when will it be tea time please be soon when will it be tea time please be soon now when you say it it's really rhythmical okay sharp rhythms when will it be tea time please be soon when will it be tea time please be soon you're almost cutting those words off short okay kind of call them staccato in music when things are clipped and a little bit dotted in the in the way that we say them, a little bit sharper in the way that we say them. It's called staccato. So we're not doing it nice and smooth. When will it be tea time? Please be soon. We want when will it be tea time? Please be soon. So I'll say it, you say it. We'll do it four times. When will it be tea time? Please be soon. My turn. When will it be tea time? Please be soon. Two more. When will it be tea time? Please be soon. When will it be tea time? Please be soon. Great. Okay, now let's have a go at clapping it. Okay, say it and clap it. When will it be tea time? Please be soon. When will it be tea time? Please be soon. When will it be tea time? Please be soon. And finally, when will it be tea time? Please be soon. Fabulous. Now let's try that on our sticks this time. So if I say it and play it, you say it back. When will it be tea time? Please be soon. My turn. When will it be tea time? Please My turn. When will it be tea time? Please be soon. When? Fantastic. Now this time we're going to put the rhythm. So we're going to do the when will it be tea time on our sticks. And then we're going to please be soon and walk the sticks, stomp the sticks either side. Please be soon. When will it be tea time? Please be soon. When will it be tea time? Please be soon. When will it be tea time? Please be your turn. When will it be tea time? Please be my turn. 
when will it be tea time be be soon good now let's just try and play it four times and this time try and say it in your head okay so say it as you're playing it after four one two three four One more. Fantastic. Okay, that's our section one. Okay, in section two of the music, uh, we're going to do uh, this rhythm and it'll become clear when the music plays along. Okay, so you're going to go stomp, stomp, tap and switch your sticks over without dropping them <laughs> in the time that you have. Stomp, so then change sides. Stomp, stomp, tap, switch, stomp, Stomp, tap, switch, stomp, stomp, tap, switch in the air, switch as you cross to the other side, tap and switch to the other side, and switch, and switch, and switch, okay, so let's try that again, so it's a stomp, stomp, tap, and switch, you ready, one, two, three, four, stomp, stomp, and switch, stuff well done so what we're going to try and do now is put that with the music and then there's a third section that comes in that's nice and simple that when we get there we we'll tap the sticks now ooh, without dropping so the music we're using for our um, rhythm pattern work today is from the Nutcracker and the Nutcracker is a story uh, basically uh, about a mouse king and a, a Nutcracker um, a girl befriends the Nutcracker and on Christmas Eve they come alive and there's a big battle uh, between the Nutcracker and the Mouse King. Uh, the little girl's called Clara and it's become quite a Christmas story really and lots of ballets perform it around the Christmas time. And the music uh, that was created for this story was by uh, Tchaikovsky. Um, and uh, he created the music and the orchestral score that went along with the ballet. Um, you can find this, uh, um, some information about the ballet and see some clips and see the orchestra in action if you go to the BBC 10 Pieces website and if you just type in the Nutcracker it should straight away take you to that set of resources where you can watch a clip um, of the music in action to a beautiful animation. <laughs> Come on. 
manage to keep up. You can always have a go. As I said, rewind, play until you get absolute perfection. <laughs> you probably noticed I went wrong a couple of times. Uh, thank you once again for joining me on this musical journey. Uh, I will see you next week.